See, it says suitable for wet locations. It's about to get real wet in here. I bet you're wondering what today's video is about. Actually, you're not because you saw the thumbnail and the title. But Dan's wondering. I bought all this stuff. And I'm going to build a craft with it. And we're going to do something fun. You just broke it. Okay, ready, set, go. All right, I think that should be it. Nice work. Plug, plug this in. Goes to a transformer in here. Converts it down to 24 volts for the solenoid. And then you got a, a little switch, weatherproof switch. This will allow us to fire our air cannon from a safe distance and quicker than we could before. Yeah, we had about 100 comments every time we shoot this that's like, use a solenoid valve, it's way better. So thank you guys for the suggestions. We finally listened. The pressure's behind the valve. It seems like a good idea until like we're right at this phase. It's plugged in. This is test number one. We'll see how quick this uh, reacts. That's how quick you are. Hey. That works pretty good. You see the end of the barrel? Did you see that there's probably water in the tank? Yeah. Just shot a bunch of water out. <laughs> That's pretty quick. What's next? <laughs> now we shoot something. One watermelon, a lot of pop, two pineapple, one two cantaloupe. We've got our steel bullet, and then we've also got a battering that we want to try and shoot out. The bullet's going to juice it better. I think we start with the bullet. Bullet juice. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Unscathed. It couldn't go through a water heater. I didn't think it would go through that. I don't think they would ever do that. <laughs> okay. Where's that water heater? <laughs> Does the new valve add power? Yeah, add speed, right? Because you get all the pressure at once. It went through a cantaloupe, through plywood, and then through, and almost <laughs> through a dumpster. Looking at the high speed footage, it looks like the rotation of that bullet was perfect to have the back end of it, which is the sharpest point, hit the dumpster dead on, which is why it cut through that. So it was just freak timing. Do you think a battering will go through the dumpster? I mean, I hope, because that would be cool, but probably not. Three, two, one. <laughs> Wait, it went through it? It like hit the side. It was like so quiet, I didn't think it even came out. I thought it got wedged in the barrel. Looking at the high speed, the end of it clips this log right there, and then it bounces up through the cantaloupe, and then it went over the dumpster. It's probably gone forever now. Next up, pineapple, but we're going to protect the dumpster with, it's like inch and a quarter. We'll see if that is enough to slow it down. Three, two, one. Holy cow. <laughs> so this is just sitting on the floor. It stopped it. That's scary because if you got shot with this, that that's like what you would look like. You'd look like a pineapple. <laughs> Second pineapple, we're gonna do two batterings at once with a saran wrap wadding. I'm doing one this way, one upside down. Three, two, one. That did a pretty good juice. This is what happened when Bruce Wayne throws a battering at you. <laughs> this is what be happening like to your brains. Did it even go through or? They probably just hit it like exactly sideways. Yeah, it did not go through. And they're both right there. Yeah. 
Next up is the rainbow with the bullet. How many do you think it'll go through? All of them? I'm thinking all. I don't think all. I think it, we're only gonna go through like the first three. Did you see what it did to the board, Dan? Well, I don't. I just don't think it'll keep going straight. Hey, it didn't go through all of them. Two bottles. I'm disappointed. But the two bottles that did go through, it destroyed them. Batterings pop? Batterings pop. Last remaining pops with double battering. And then we'll do the watermelon with the bullet. Three, two, one. Oh, it left one survivor. That two? Back. This one, same leak from before. So it just killed one and... It for sure killed that one. Mortally wounded another. And the batterings, I heard them clinging on the... There's one. Oh, there's both. They must have hit the first one, like bounced off the second. We forgot to reline up our first board, and oh, it's just a gentle dent. Yeah, it's not bad. The watermelon, though, it's a mediocre watermelon. Mediocre. Yeah. Last shot. We are going to try and just stick a single battering into the wood. I give it a two percent chance. Well, then we have to try it fifty times. Three, two, one. <laughs> Bounced off the board. Good thing Mitchell's wearing his safety hood, though. I had my safety hood on. This was <laughs> you can see the perfect imprint of it right here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right on its side. <laughs> it could not have been more flat. So uh, that is our new air cannon. Our uh, new dump valve opens so many possibilities. What possibility would you like it to open? Let us know in the comments. Oh, that was close. There it was. Yeah! Speaking of batterings, we will actually be giving away 200 free batterings to the first 200 orders on waterjetknives.com. We have a website where we make knife blanks. Buy a knife blank, you also get a free battering. First 200 people. On each product page, there'll be a little checkbox that says include free gift. Just check that and we'll send you a battering. So if you order three knife blanks and you check the box on each one, you will get three batterings in your order. Once again, that's only the first 200. We'll get that deal. And then as soon as that checkbox no longer appears there, that means we ran out. So hurry over there. Go to waterjetknives.com or click the link in the description. Let's find out who the real Batman is. To see more stupid videos, click subscribe. If you want to watch a video where we cut a pig's head in half, click here. If you want to watch a different video YouTube thinks you'll like, click the other stupid video. If you want to buy some knives, buy some knives.